the night Summer was reported missing. I was ready. I was like, let's do this. Let's like get the flashlights out. Let's get some snacks in our bags. You know, it's going to be an all-nighter, you know. <laughs> let's get into the missing five-year-old girl, Summer Wells, her Sabbath school teacher, a.k.a. pastor's wife, a.k.a. Chair Robin Lean, Church MLM, Multi level media and david dodson who inserted himself into the missing five-year-old girl summer wells case aka the pied piper as well as chris watts the family assassin it's year three since he annihilated his pregnant wife shanann and their two young daughters my question is, is why all three, why are they smiling? Let's break it down. Duper's delight is the delight that people feel when they deceive others. Duping is another word for deception, for tricking people into some kind of action or misunderstanding. People who deceive often find a secret pleasure in their success. It is similar to the pleasure that people get when they exercise power. It is as if the brain rewards us for achieving control over other people. The delight of secrecy related to power is having something that others do not have. Thus, some tend to take pleasure in the secret nature of deception. We are going to compare and contrast Chris Watts, the family assassin, with the missing little girl's summer Utah Moon Wells, quote unquote, church family the photos and the news reports that they've been on and see if their mannerisms match with chris Watt. duper's delight some tend to take pleasure in the secret nature of deception of not only knowing that one has gained something but also that the other person tend to take pleasure in the secret nature of deception of not only knowing that that one has gained something, but also that the other person does not know this. Day 31. News Channel 11's Bianca Murray spoke with Summer's Sabbath school teacher about how much the little girl meant to her and the church they attend. The giveaways. People who deceive others and hence feel duper's delight often cannot hide their feelings. If you can spot the signals by which they give, you can avoid being deceived. Summer's parents told us she really looked up to her Sabbath school teacher as a role model. Yet you can avoid being deceived. Body language. There is a common and transient pleasure in deception that appears typically as pleasure. Signaling body language. Summer meant to her and her experience from the night Summer disappeared. Whenever I was helping teach Sabbath school, she was in my lap. And sometimes it was hard to teach because she wanted to be in my lap. Holding me and hugging me. Um, I just discovered that it was actually easier for me just to hold her. and Signaling body language such as upturned corners of the mouth, creased eyes. Let her love on me and hug me. Throwing the head back. Transient signals. The body language may also be combined with attempts, conscious or otherwise, to conceal this. And teach with her on me than it was to make her sit in a chair. Which will lead to the signals appearing very briefly before they are quashed and suppressed. For example, a liar may flash <laughs> smile very briefly before returning to the mask of emotions they are wearing. So watch other people for the signs of delight when they might be trying to persuade you of something or otherwise deceive you. Robin Lane tells me she had a close bond with Summer. She was a helper. She loved to help. She loved to love on us. She loved to love on us. She loved to love on us. And uh, I just, I just loved her little arms around my neck all the time. For example, a liar may flash smile very briefly before returning to the mask of emotions they are wearing. So watch other people for the signs of delight when they might be trying to persuade you of something or otherwise deceive you. I just loved her little arms around my neck all the time. I just loved her little arms around my neck all the time. 
She recalled she was attending her own daughter's dance recital the night Summer disappeared. I was taking my um, little girl's pictures before her dance class and I noticed I was missing calls from Candace. Before I even had a chance to call her, she messaged me again on Facebook Messenger and she was just in a panic mode and she says, Summer's gone, we can't find her anywhere, the police are here searching and I said, I'll be right when there. When you know this, then you will have reversed the situation. You have the power of knowledge that they do not have. So beware of sending them back another duper's delight signal. Comment below as we go. I have no, like I have no inclination to where they're at right now. Like I've exhausted like every friend that I know of and every friend that I have has called friends that Shanann has that maybe I didn't know about. And it's just like, like there's, it's like, it was vanished. Like, she's not, like, when I got home yesterday, it was like a ghost town. Like, she wasn't here. Kids weren't here. I have no idea, like, where they went. And it doesn't, it's just earth shattering. I don't feel like it's real right now. It's like a nightmare that I just can't wake up from. Take note of the tells. And you guys decide if they're duping us. Comment your thoughts below as the videos play. Lane said she arrived at the Beach Creek area around 9 p.m. on June 15th. The night Summer was reported missing. I was ready. I was like, let's do this. Let's like get the flashlights out. Let's get some snacks in our bags. You know, it's going to be an all nighter, you know. <laughs> I was ready. I was like, let's do this. Let's like we get the flashlights out. Let's get some snacks in our bags. You know, it's going to be an all nighter, you know, we get the flashlights out. Let's get some snacks in our bags. You know, it's going to be an all nighter, you know, <laughs> I was ready. I was like, let's do this. Let's like we get the flashlights out. Let's get some snacks in our bags. You know, it's going to be an all nighter, you know, <laughs> lights out. Let's get some snacks in our bags. You know, it's going to be an all nighter, you know, <laughs> comment below if you think Robin Lane is sounding more like she's ready to pack to go to Caribbean Island rather than look for a missing child she's so close to. Showed them to. some pictures of Summer. The police didn't have very good pictures of her or some of them hadn't even seen a picture of her yet. Of her or some of them hadn't even seen a picture of her yet. Of her or some of them hadn't even seen a picture of her yet. Later that night, she was granted access to the Wells home. At that point, there's really nothing I could do. They just needed someone to pray with them. To pray with them. To pray with them. Because you want to do something. It makes you feel better to do something but we couldn't so we just prayed and we just hugged on them and loved on the boys and i and loved on the boys and i and loved on the boys and they of course were just shattered and shattered and shattered and it doesn't it's just earth shattering just earth shattering just earth shattering and just confused as was i i have no idea like where they went and just confused as was i and then we had to go home, and it was really hard driving home with her not being found. I have no idea, like, where they went. And... Helicopters everywhere, search dogs everywhere, police everywhere. And there's nothing that you can do to help. There's, it's like... It was vanished. Like, she's not... Like, when I got home yesterday, it was like a ghost town. Like, she wasn't here. Tonight at 6, hear how the members of the Kingsport Seventh-day Adventist Church has been offering whatever help they can to the Wells family in this time of need. David Dodson, the Pied Piper, is up next. So let's get into the similarities. Let's break that down. Someone who made a comment that was very polite. I Dotson was called to the Wells property the night Summer went missing. We, we definitely wanted to have a church family there with them. He says the family is having a hard time coping without Summer. Mom, mom is devastated. Mom uh, does not want to leave the house. Mom, mom is devastated. Mom uh, does not want to leave the house. Uh, she, like, if Summer comes back, if she happens to wander up back up, I want to be here. Just I can't imagine what they're going through, and they're just uh, they're, they're just uh, parents that they, they want their daughter back. And, and, and you have these three young boys, and you have these three young boys, and you have these three young boys. 
They want their younger sister back. Dotson says he has a nightly ritual praying for praying for oh, praying for well, praying a peaceful day away away from and you have these three young boys I'm in loved on the boys and and you have these three young boys I'm in loved on the boys and and you have these three young boys I'm in loved on the boys and the search and rescue teams going on their property and the the agents coming up there there was Yesterday, uh, took them and to the uh, putt putt golf course here in Kingsport, and just to try to let them. Have I said out at night. It. I said out at night. It. I said out at night. It. As the sun sets, and I play a song for summer. As the sun sets and I play a song for summer. Leave your thoughts below. Thank you for walking with me. And you know how we do it. We'll be back soon with another video. Three blind mice. Three blind mice.